Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are doing the first plan with me on this channel for the year of 2024. I can't believe it. So we are taking a deep dive into this planner here. This is my journey planner. It is a B6, has daily, weekly, monthlies, all of that. I did a walkthrough when I unboxed it, but we are going to do a plan with me for the week. So I am excited about that. Um, so let's just dive right in. We are planning for the week of January 9th. This is my B6 journey planner. And we are working on the weeklies. So kind of what I am doing is looking at my habits that I need to do. And with that is making sure I hit all those, especially with my, um, my once a week habits as well and incorporating them into my weekly schedule. So this was last week. It was the first week of January. And right, there's a lot of space down here that was unused. And that is because it is hourly and basically I'm done by 8 p.m. and then go to bed and that's what this space down here is. So what I am going to be doing for this upcoming week is I saw an old post from Heart Breathings. Let me see if you could zoom in. It might not focus, but here it is. So this was back from 2018 when Sarah Cannon used a Hobonichi. And I really like this aspect where she has the videos writing, blog, paperback, ads, videos in email. So I'm going to try to do something similar to that. And we will get started. So I'm zooming you in. I know the lighting still working on. I changed up my desk space. So we have that. Um, but so first things first is section off the bottom half. And I think I'm going to keep it how I did from 8 p.m. Because that's basically, I would say, the end of my day. So we have 8 p.m. And what I'm going to do is, I'll just take this pen. So this is a uni style fit. And I have three in here because I had to take out my purple because I used it all. And we are going to dry a line at the 8 p.m. mark. And if you have a ruler, I would highly recommend doing that so your lines are straight, unlike mine. But that's okay. So my categories will be, I think I'm going to put them down on the space. Nah, I'll do it up above. I think it'll be okay. But what we're going to have is going back to the photo is videos, writing, blog, which I haven't kind of done that aspect of it, so it will be okay. Um, videos, and then we have writing. Don't have blog, paperbacks I'm not working on, but I'm going to be working on my sticker shop paperbacks sometime. Ads, don't have ads, videos, and then emails. So, a videos, writing, and then we will have email. And thinking back what other important groupings 
do you have? And so I really like the idea of categories and it just kind of, I would say, works well for my my mind. So we have videos, writing, email, and then I'm going to do my, this is more my author information. And then on this side, we'll do personal. So with that, we will have um, chores. And chores, what else? I'm like, I don't need meals because there is a meal section. Don't need habits because there's a habit section. Um, I could do exercise, but there's not really a point because that is in my B6, which I still need to set up for the um, January. I need to take out all the December stuff. But I haven't done that yet. Um, chores, budget, fitness, schedule courses which um i need to do some stuff for courses so that's also should be actually on that side but that's okay so um we will do courses and then um what else I guess I could do task blocks here. That might be interesting instead of using my other planner. So then everything is all included. Question is, do I want to do that? So looking back of how last week we had to do social media. And anything else? Gonna leave this one blank for now, but those are what I have. So let's get to the top section. So what I'm doing is going to be very similar to what I did last week, which is marking off um, my spots using these dot markers. These are the Artist Loft. I got them from Michael's a while back. I don't know if they still carry them, but I do have them. So what I'm just going to do is a dot for all the different kind of 30 minutes to an hour that I am doing fitness or meals. So I start day at 6 a.m. I am doing the 12, 3, 30. So it is on a treadmill for 30 minutes at a 12 incline. And so I've been working on that. And let's just say it is really hard. Can I just say <laughs> that? And it's been good. It's supposed to kind of, you know, be low impact in a way. Incline is there. So if you have bad knees or uh, feet, it's going to be kind of hard on that. But with that, it's kind of to be a way for you to kind of reduce fat. And so I'm doing, you know, body recomposition. So right now I'm working on weight loss before I add the strength training versus I've been doing strength training kind of in November and a little into December. So now I'm kind of switch, switch swapping. Um, so I'm doing now the fat loss phase and then I'll go back to strength in the month of February. So I'm trying that out. So I did my marking and then either Saturday and Sunday is when I do my um, running and so next week we'll just put it I'll just mark here a spot for nine I could always change this and so this is my run so these are all treadmill walking and then breakfast lunch and then we have dinner 
So I'm just going to go ahead and write all of that in and then we will back, be back on to the next segment. So the next thing is putting in my work. So we have Monday through Friday starting around 8 a.m. and going down to around 3.30. Just going to draw like kind of a line here. And I don't know if I like the line or if I wanted to do a dot. So I'm trying this out and seeing how I like it. Okay, so then we have work. This is my day job. And we need to do chores. Chores are green. So I like to do chores after work. So we're going to say at 4. And Monday through Friday. So this is kind of a 30 minute chore. So whether that is sweeping or just kind of picking up, it is a reminder to do kind of a little bit of something. Which then that goes into my habits that I have. So once a week, right, I got to do the floors, the bathroom, laundry, deep, or that's, um, um, and then cleaning sink, cleaning desk, all that. So it's to help also with the habit. And then we have kind of TV lounge basically by 6.37 done for the day. So that's for every day. We're just going to call that a relax. And I don't know if actually this was supposed to be this dark blue color. I think it was. But that's okay. I need to put some labels on these so I remember. And on my way to work, I need to... Listen, I need to do... I need listening to like the Bible recap. So I'm just putting that. So I really want to do that this year. Um, I'm already a week behind, but I've done it before. So I'm kind of starting back over. So we have that. And now we are going down to the bottom, which is, I'd say, kind of more the fun part. So, under courses, I need to update my blurb. Blurb, and this is due by 113th. So, I need to do that. I need to do an IG post I need on Tuesday. And... Thursday and I want to do a TikTok on Wednesday which TikTok will also include a reel and a YouTube short so there is that video so that will be Monday this video will go up live and then my newsletter video is on Thursday. So email, we have a promo that I need to talk about. Um, it will talk about the snow. Um, Trying to think of what else might be so that is, this is going out Thursday. Oh, and then I need to tell them we're going to do a switch over to monthly emails, but I'm going to keep doing weekly 
newsletter. So this will be just kind of more up to date on my writing and stuff like that. So this week I need to finish draft one. One of four leave crime scene. And with that, I need to then plot the Easter basket burglary. And if possible, edit round one. And then for email, I need to email my editor to let her know what's coming. So now I kind of have all that. So what I need to schedule is what I'm going to be doing courses real quick floors kitchen bathroom desk okay so what I've actually been doing is writing while I'm walking so I should be able to finish um Okay, so sadly my SD card got full, so before I got it finished, but this is kind of how it looks. This is my week. I added a little bit of washi down here to make it a little sparkly, but that is pretty much it. I'm trying to keep it really simple this year, um, but of course I will have some stickers coming up that I have one winter kit that I have as a glam planner but I'm hoping that I could create some sticker kits for this particular planner coming up um, but right now we are just using a pen and marker only and I think it really works so then my next thing is once I have kind of my ideal week is moving on to what I'll be doing for the weeklies or the dailies, but I will do that um, on my own at a different time. But kind of if you wanted to see how my dailies uh, worked, kind of just right now a lot of note taking and nothing too spectacular. But here we have for the week of January 8th. Thanks for watching and until my next video, bye.